Welcome to your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Be sure to check out your exclusive discount offer at the end of your free lesson. When importing artwork into Flash, you have two basic options. You can either import the graphics directly to the stage or import them into the document library and then add them to the stage later on when they're actually needed. Note that if you import artwork directly to the stage, it's also automatically put into the document library so you wouldn't have to do it twice. Now in this lesson we'll examine the process for importing artwork directly to the stage where you can then immediately manipulate it. And we'll also look at importing graphics into the document library where later on you can click and drag them from the library into the stage as an instance of the asset in the library is needed. Now when you're ready to import artwork to the stage, just choose File from the menu bar, down to import and choose import to stage as long as you're using flash 8 or MX 2004. If you're using flash MX just select file and then import instead. Either way this will open up the import dialog box which is your basic file navigation dialog box and you would use the dialog box to find the artwork that you want to import, select it and then click the open button in order to import the actual picture. Notice that if the file that you're looking for doesn't appear in the dialog box even if you have the correct folder selected then you may need to change the files of type drop down to choose what type of files you're looking for within the selected folder. Also note that some file types like fireworks PNG files may also give you an additional dialog box with importing options after you click the OK button and you would need to make any selections you want and click OK to finish importing the selected graphic in that case. Now this will import the selected artwork onto your stage where you can now resize and reposition it as needed. And if you were to open the library panel at this point, you'll also see the image in the document library. To import artwork directly into the document library and skip placing an instance of it onto the stage, you could choose File from the menu bar, roll down to Import, and then just choose Import to Library in Flash 8 or MX 2004. In MX, it was simply File and then Import to Library. Once again, that's going to bring up the Import to Library dialog box where you would select the artwork to import. Now once you find and select the file or files that you would want to import, you can then click the Open button. And if the library panel wasn't open at that time, you wouldn't notice any changes in the Flash environment as far as the stage goes. To see the imported graphic, you would need to open the library panel, where you could then click on it and see it. Now when you import vector graphics, they are placed on the stage as a group of objects, but not stored in the library. Flash considers vector graphics to be made of primitive shapes and therefore must reprocess each part of the vector graphic for each frame it occupies, which can increase file size and download times. Now in general, vector graphics imported to the stage should be converted to symbols to keep file size and processing times as low as possible, but we'll discuss converting to symbols in the next lesson. Now artwork is not the only thing you can import into the document library or the stage. Video, sound, and other types of files can be imported as well, and each type of file in the library panel will have its own icon next to it to help you to distinguish the different types. We'll be going into more detail on building libraries in the library panel later in the tutorial, and we'll see what each of the icons looks like, as well as how to import an entire library from another Flash document. So if you have a Flash document with a library containing all the assets, meaning like the images and sounds and things that you're going to need, you can import from one library to another. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Like what you see? Pick up your copy of our complete tutorial today and be sure to visit us at www.teachucomp.com slash YouTube for your special bonus offer. Our complete tutorial featuring introductory through advanced material is available on CD-ROM or digital download. You will receive our high quality video lessons plus printable instruction manuals in one easy to use training package. With over two dozen titles to choose from, you'll be sure to find the training you need in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more. Visit us today!